What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back for another unboxing video and check this box out. It is ginormous. It's huge. Tell you what, let's get this thing open, see what's inside. I mean, come on. The box is so big. I actually have to have it on its own separate pedestal. I mean, if it's, it's, it's massive. I mean, it's like 19 inches by 14 inches by 12. It's huge. Um, yeah. When I went to the PO box, I had the little yellow card and it said item too big to fit in your box. Okay. You know, that's, that's not, Hard to imagine. And the post office worker, she brought it out. She's like, that's a big box. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> uh, but anyway, let's talk a little bit about the box. Uh, this box actually comes from Terry Raper. I hope I said that right. It's all the way from Washington State. I mean, that's, that's across the country. So let me, oh, I mean, I don't even, I'm about to get a bigger table. <laughs> All right, uh, let's, let's get this thing opened up. Oh, I got, I got a new official unboxing knife. I mean, this, this, this is like the greatest unboxing knife on the planet. And I paid four bucks for it at Walmart. <laughs> I've come to the conclusion when it comes to opening cardboard boxes, the $5 knives, they do just as good as a $100 knife. So anyway, all right, let's get this thing opened up. Hey, we got letterage. We got letterage, thankfully. Okay. Uh, ooh, that might've been Raptor. I just saw the last name. Man, I Terry, I'm just going to call you Terry because I don't want to mess your name up any worse than I already have. And I apologize if I did. Anyway, Greg, wanted to give you um, these and hope you find something to do with them. I had gotten a couple by mistake, so I had, a, had an extra. And it's, uh, it's a big item. Went on clearance. So got me one extra since I'm modifying my original with G.I. Joe decals. Looks great. Also got you one since, uh, thank you, you've gotten yet. Have fun uh, photographing. Run silent, run deep, Terry. Right there, we got letterage. I'm, I don't know. <laughs> I, I truthfully don't know. Uh, yeah. What is this? What is, what, what is this? Okay, first and foremost, we got excellent packaging. Excellent packaging. All right, let's see here. Oh, okay, I gotta get this first. Hang on a minute. All right, check this out. Azrael Batman armor right there. Boom. I actually saw this uh, in store, I think a week or so ago. And I was like, oh, man, I really, I couldn't make my mind up. I really couldn't. And then I went back later and it wasn't there. So uh, this is wicked cool. Boom. Bam. Oh, Check out the back. I will say this. I like this as real more than I do the red one. Just saying. Don't hate me. Oh, what is this? No, got me on my... Oh, what is this? All right, hang on. There's something on this. This is sick right here. This is sick. All right, we're getting there. 
check this out. This is awesome. Super Fidelis. Always faithful is what that means. Now, is there is there like money in here? Is there is there is there money? <gasps> no. <laughs> That's that is great. That is awesome. Yes, but we got something here. So let me let me uh let me open this up. Uh, Greg, while was stationed in Hawaii, attended uh, many fairs and celebrations at Marine Corps Base. Ooh, nice. Uh, and a sign of friendship, wanted to give you the mug I got there as a tribute to Marines. Never used, but stored since 2003. So pain is rubbing off. Enjoy Happy Veterans Day. Oh wow, that's that is that is awesome. This is great. Oh yeah, this this is this is awesome right here. This is just just makes my day. I mean it's th Terry, this would have been enough right here. I'm just saying this would have been enough. I mean the toys and everything, they're great. But truthfully, this right here would have been more than enough. Um, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. And I like the fact that it's it's weathered. It's, you know, got some chipping on it. I love it. 2003. That's awesome. I might actually, I don't drink, so little known fact, I don't drink coffee. However, I think what I'm going to do with this, I think I'm going to actually use this to store all of my uh, my brushes and stuff in. I, I keep most everything in a little solo cup now. But, Terry, I hope you don't mind, but I think that's what I'm going to do with this. Because that way it's a constant reminder here at the table of, of this amazing gift. So, thank you. Thank you so much for that. Oh. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Oh, my goodness. This is crazy. This is crazy. It's official. Fat Raptor. <laughs> so, th this is great. This is absolutely great. I have been eyeballing these and eyeballing these. And uh, here's a fun fact. Because uh, I think, yeah, they went on clearance. So it looks like he got them on clearance. A fun fact. I actually got some on clearance as well from GameStop. So, <laughs> Terry, you beat GameStop. <laughs> this is great. That's awesome because... I have really, really, really been wanting to take a closer look at these and to see how much customization that we can do with it. So I tell you what, I'm going to stop the video right now. I'm going to unbox this so we can actually see it out of the box because I'm just curious. I think these things can be modified to be used with other figures and repaint it. I think we do all kinds of cool things with them. So I tell you what, let me get this thing out of the box. We'll check it out. All right. So we got the bat Raptor out of the box and, um, I'm going to go ahead and say this. Um, the box does not do this justice. Um, out of the box, this thing is way cooler because Here's, here's the reason why. Number one, rubber wheels. I honestly did not expect rubber wheels for some reason. Uh, but it does have rubber wheels. And, I mean, check this thing out. I mean, on its own, it it's wicked cool looking. I also didn't know this, but that extends out. That is cool. Um, I am, uh, okay, so, I got snake eyes, because my, my first thought with this is, could really do some cool stuff with G.I. Joe's. 
I was thinking that we could really customize these things and do really cool paint jobs on them. I know there's bats insignias like right in here, but that's that's no big deal. Uh, as far as the actual functioning, there uh, there is no handlebars to worry about, which thankfully no steering wheels or nothing like that. So let's see what we can come up with here. Because I'm assuming the easiest way to do this would basically just on the elbows. Something similar like this. <laughs> look at look at there. Stay guys. I mean, come on. We can modify these things and use these for other figures. Now you can get your creative juices going, do some repaints. I mean, like this stuff right here, you just tape it off. And if you want to do just like a body repaint, oh, man, so simple to do. Tape off the wheels, you know, tape off this back section to where you're just hitting the, uh, the actual body. Uh, there are screws. So I might actually take this apart. And I might actually do a video on that. Take this thing apart and see how much we can actually, if this, if the body shell comes off and separates from the lower half right here, which I'm 99% sure that's what it does, then doing a repaint is so much easier. But, I mean, look at that. That is perfect. That, I mean, that's, a, that's, I mean, I will say this, though. That's got to be the like the, worst way in the world to ride a vehicle <laughs> i'm just saying but it looks like that would be the uh the best way to approach it i mean it, it works parts of me sort of wishes that the figure actually would go in like this you know normal but uh I'm not seeing any way that will happen. Um, I got another figure right here. I got my crazy vampire stormtrooper. Let's see. Let's see what we can do with him. The crazy vampire stormtrooper. I bet he'll work too. Oh yeah, he'll work. I think we. I think we can make him work. Not as. Not as. <laughs> no, stormtroopers don't work. <laughs> But Snake Eyes does, so I have a feeling that uh, any of any of the Joe figures will work out great. I mean, you could do Cobra, you could do GI Joe. I mean, if you got these things uh, on clearance, and do like a fleet of them. I mean, you could have some really cool fun with these. But wow, there it is, Terry. Thank you so much. This is wicked cool. This right here, that, that touched me right there. That that touched me. Matter of fact, I'm going to show you. We're, we're going to go ahead and do it, Terry. Hang on a minute. Let me get the lid back off. I will tell you this. The older, like, cups like this with the lids that snap on, they snap on so much tighter than the new stuff. I'm just saying. So the lid is going right here. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah, that is perfect. Boom. Get the old uh, unboxing knife. Voila. Look at there. Perfect. It'll sit right there. It's a constant reminder of this of your awesomeness, Terry. So thank you so much. I uh, really do appreciate that. Marine Corps, that's, that's me. Anything to do with the Marine Corps, I'm all about. But, uh, yeah. This bad boy right here is wicked cool. I don't really think this would ever fit in here because it's massive. But that sword right there, that sword is wicked cool. But yeah, definitely let me know in the comments. Uh, first and foremost, show Terry some love in the comments. Let him know how awesome he is. Uh, also, let me know if you actually have a Bat Rapture. You know? Because uh, 
we've already proved that G.I. Joe's will fit in this. And that's the thing I was the most curious about is whether or not the G.I. Joe's work in this, in this vehicle good or not. I will say his sword does get in the way a little bit, but not enough to matter. So I can see a lot of good customizations with things like this. And we don't have enough vehicles for six inch figures anyway. So uh, I say repurpose them. But seriously though, in the comments, definitely uh, let's show Terry some love. Uh, let him know how awesome he is to actually uh, hook me up with these fine, fine items. Um, yeah, it still just blows me away when, when people send me things. It touches my heart. It really does. And uh, I need to put this at a better angle. Car, car show style, you know. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments if you have this figure, what you think about this figure. Also, let me know if you have a Bat Raptor and what you think about it because I was shocked that there's rubber wheels or tires. That shocked me. And also... Let me know in the comments if you would like to see a video of me taking this thing apart and showing you how to actually, um, what all we can do with it. Let me know in the comments. I'll do it. I'm, I'm going to do it anyway. But if you guys want to see a video of it, I would love to make one, but definitely let me know in the comments. But <sighs> thank you, Terry. Thank you so much. I really appreciate this. Um, yeah. Stuff like this just, just humbles my heart. So, but guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you really, really enjoyed it. And if this is your first time on my channel, please make sure and hit that subscribe button and make sure you got notifications turned on. That way you'll know when I drop videos. And always remember, toys refresh your soul. And I'll see you next time.